I'm a multimillionaire and I don't own a home, but why? You're probably thinking, but Ted, a home is the best investment you could make. It goes up in value, you can sell it, you can live in it, not piss away money with rent. But the thing is, if you believe buying a home is a good investment, you've been sold on the American dream. The American dream is to own a home with a white picket fence. But the truth is, buying a home is a terrible idea, especially in 2024, because of a few reasons I'm about to mention right here. The first reason why buying a house is a terrible idea and why I'll never buy a house is because when you buy a house, you are giving up your power in two ways. You're giving up your power physically because now you're just stuck in a box and you can't be mobile, you can't be agile, you can't be flexible, you can't instantly fly to Turkey and live in Turkey, you can't fly to Thailand and live in Thailand without your house being vacant, without you having to still take care of the maintenance at home and worry about people breaking in and having to get set sitters in the house and all this stuff. Like you're just stuck in a freaking box physically. But the second way you're giving up your power is by giving up your power financially. When you get pricked on the finger and a little bit of blood comes out, you don't really notice you're losing a little bit of blood. But if you get gouged with a knife and you start bleeding out massively, you notice a lot of blood flow coming out, you're gonna die very, very soon. You don't wanna lose a lot of blood. You're okay with losing a little bit of blood at a time, no problem, but a lot of blood, you're gonna die very quickly because you give up all your power and there's power in your blood. When you buy a house, you're giving up hundreds of thousands of dollars of blood. You're giving up hundreds of thousands of dollars of your financial life force, all for a freaking box. Whereas if you were to say rent, for example, you're, it's like pricking your finger and losing a little bit of blood at a time. It's all good, it's no problem. Buying a house is you giving up power. Rather than putting hundreds of thousands of dollars into a house or millions into a house, I'd rather put that money to work for me elsewhere so it can make money for me in a way that's much better than hoping the price of my house goes up over the next five to 10 years. We'll talk about those investments later in this video. But the second reason why buying a house is a terrible idea and why I will never buy a house is because I don't need to buy a house. In fact, I'm shooting this video right now in an Airbnb. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be in California. A week after that, I'm gonna be in Vegas. After that, I'm gonna be in Mexico. And after that, I'm gonna be in Dubai. What do all these places I'm going have in common? They have Airbnbs. I can rent an Airbnb anywhere in the world. This is why in 2024, owning a house is silly because you can now get to experience life in multiple countries pretty much at the same time just by going on Airbnb and booking a house. It's financially cheaper to rent a house than it is to pay for the upkeep and for the maintenance and the taxes and the mortgage fees and all that stuff when it comes to owning a house. That's the second reason. You don't need to own a house. You're only looking for a place to sleep, get some work done eat. Why do you need to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars for a box so that you can sleep in it and eat in it and hang out in it for a little bit? Just rent an Airbnb. Done. In the olden days, it made sense, I understand. But nowadays in 2024, it doesn't make sense. Now, the third reason why owning a home is a terrible idea and why I, as a multimillionaire, will never do it is because you'll never actually own the home. It's an illusion to think that by buying a house, you own it. Watch this. If I buy this phone, I own the phone because I bought it, I paid for it once, no one's ever gonna talk to me about it ever again. It's mine, F off. But if you buy a house and you don't pay the yearly rent on it to the government, AKA property taxes, your house will get seized from you. So you have to ask yourself, do you really own it? Do you really own something that you have to continuously pay for? And if you don't pay for it, it'll get taken away from you. No, it's an illusion. This is the American dream that gets sold to you. Houses are a product of the banks. The banks are needing a way for people to pay them interest, pay them a lot of fees. So the banks think, oh, let's sell people on the idea of a house. So they take out a mortgage, the bank gives them a ton of money, and the person pays back the bank over the course of 20, 30, 50 years, whatever. You never actually own the freaking house because if you stop paying property taxes, the government takes the house away from you. So instead, what should you do with your money? How do you actually get rich if you're not going to put the money into a house? Well, look at appreciating assets that go up, that appreciate a lot faster than a house. Which asset would that be? Well, one great example is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is an example of an asset that if you were to have put $100,000 in it 10 years ago, it would be worth well over $10 million today. Can't say the same for a house. The other cool thing about Bitcoin, unlike houses, is that with Bitcoin, you can buy bits of it. So every week I invest $300 into Bitcoin. It gets taken out of my bank account, goes into Bitcoin directly. I can buy a chunk of Bitcoin every single week. With a house though, you have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to get into the market, which makes it prohibitively expensive for most people, probably you included. If you're watching this and thinking, oh, you'll never be able to afford a house, you're probably right but you can afford to buy a little bit of a Bitcoin. But before you invest in Bitcoin, there are actually two other appreciating assets that I personally invested in first before Bitcoin, and they allowed me to buy a lot more Bitcoin because they made me a lot richer, a lot faster than Bitcoin ever could. If you wanna know what those two assets are, just click the video on this video right here, and I'll go into depth on what those two other assets are that helped me become a millionaire just by putting my money in them ASAP.